Hi everyone. How are you? My name is Bobby King. I am from Middle East. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. I hope you are fine there. God give you more happiness for you all. You live always happy there. Your one stop destination for all things related to the Raki Dinar. As you know in my videos, I try my level best to give you the most recent update of Raki Dinar. Please don't forget hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Watch complete video for support me. I hope you are support me. Let's start to the latest update about the Raki Dinar. In the world of currency investment, few subjects provoke as much debate as the Iraqi dinar. With its tumultuous history and potential for revaluation, many have taken to social media and investment forums to express their skepticism, often labeling the dinar investment as a scam. However, this viewpoint often overlooks critical developments in Iraq's monetary policy and the intentions of key political figures. It is essential to examine the facts surrounding the Iraqi dinar the individuals driving monetary reform and the implications of recent announcements. The misunderstanding of investment and value to claim that those investing in the Iraqi dinar are engaging in a scam is to dismiss the complexities of international finance and currency valuation. A scam implies deceit and fraud, yet many investors genuinely believe in the potential of the dinar, especially in light of the recent statements from Iraqi leadership. This misunderstanding can stem from a lack of information about how currency markets operate and the underlying factors influencing currency valuation. Currency investment fundamentals Currency investment, especially in a currency like the Iraqi dinar, involves assessing both the risks and potential rewards associated with the asset. In this case, the dinar has been a point of interest for investors hoping to capitalize on Iraq's economic recovery and the anticipated lifting of the three zeros from its currency. When individuals call the dinar a scam, they often ignore the broader economic context, including, historical context, the Iraqi dinar has a complex history, influenced by wars, sanctions, and economic instability. Understanding this history is crucial for grasping current dynamics. Monetary Reform Iraq's government and central bank have implemented various reforms aimed at stabilizing the economy and rebuilding the national currency. Potential for revaluation. Many investors see the lifting of the three zeros as a potential revaluation, which could lead to significant gains. Key figures in monetary reform critics often blame individuals like Ali Alak, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, and Mohammad Shia al Sadani, the prime minister, for any delays in monetary reform. However, this perspective overlooks the collaborative efforts of several key figures, including Masoud Barzani, the former president of the Kurdistan region, who played crucial roles in supporting and driving these reforms. Ali Alak A visionary leader Ali Alak has been pivotal in implementing monetary policies that aim to stabilize the Iraqi economy. Under his leadership, the CBI has introduced measures to strengthen the dinar, increase foreign reserves, and enhance the banking sector's infrastructure. His commitment to transparency and communication with the public is crucial in building trust and confidence in the dinar. Mohammad Shia al Sadani, the Prime Minister's role, Prime Minister al Sadani has also emphasized the importance of monetary reform in his government's agenda. His administration recognizes the need to lift the three zeros from the dinar, aiming to simplify transactions and increase the currency's overall value. This reform is expected to stimulate economic growth and restore public confidence in the dinar. Masoud Barzani Regional stability and support as a prominent figure in Iraqi politics, Masoud Barzani's support for monetary reforms is significant. His influence in the Kurdistan region contributes to broader national stability, which is essential for the successful implementation of reforms. His leadership fosters cooperation between the federal government and the regional authorities, paving the way for economic improvements. The value of lifting the three zeros One of the most talked about reforms is the potential lifting of the three zeros from the Iraqi dinar. This initiative aims to enhance the currency's value and restore confidence among both local and foreign investors. Economic implications The removal of three zeros could have several positive implications for the Iraqi economy. 
Increased value. By removing the zeros, the dinar may appear more valuable, encouraging people to hold and transact in the currency. Easier transactions. Simplifying the currency system makes transactions more manageable for businesses and individuals alike. Attracting foreign investment. A stronger dinar can enhance Iraq's attractiveness to foreign investors, fostering economic growth and stability. Official endorsement statements from both Iraq and al Sadani affirm the commitment to monetary reform and the lifting of zeros. Such announcements indicate that the government is not only aware of the issues but actively working to address them. For anyone dismissing these efforts as a scam, it is vital to recognize that the actions of these leaders are grounded in reality and aimed at genuine economic improvement. Educating the skeptics to combat the skepticism surrounding the Iraqi dinar, it is essential to provide education and factual information to potential investors. Misconceptions often arise from a lack of understanding of economic fundamentals, leading to misguided judgments. Providing accurate information historical context. Educate skeptics about Iraq's economic history, highlighting the transition from a war-torn economy to one poised for growth. Monetary policy understanding. Explain how central banks operate, the significance of currency reforms, and how they can lead to value appreciation. Rebutting misinformation. Address common myths about the dinar being a scam by presenting clear, fact-based arguments. Engaging with the community building a supportive community of investors can help educate others and dispel myths surrounding the dinar. Engaging with forums, social media groups, and financial education platforms can foster informed discussions and create a positive narrative around the dinar investment. A reality in progress in conclusion. Dismissing the investment in the Iraqi dinar as a scam overlooks the substantial progress being made in Iraq's monetary reform. The collaborative efforts of influential leaders like Ali Alak, Mohammad Shia, Al Sadani, and Masoud Barzani signal a commitment to enhancing the dinar's value and stabilizing the economy. As these reforms unfold, it becomes increasingly clear that the lifting of the three zeros is not merely an idea but a tangible goal being pursued by Iraq's government. For investors and skeptics alike, educating oneself about these developments is crucial. The reality is that a significant transformation is happening in Iraq, one that could reshape the economic landscape and provide new opportunities for those willing to embrace the potential of the Iraqi dinar. In the face of skepticism, it is imperative to recognize the importance of informed discourse and to encourage a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding the Iraqi dinar. By doing so, we can foster a more educated perspective that values the efforts being made to restore the dinar's significance in the global economy. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.